It's a Mercer County summer tradition that started 100 years ago. That's when Frank Buell gave employees the day off for Labor Day. Yeah, Buell's Day celebrations started 37 years ago, but today 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien stopped by to show us all this year's festivities. Great food, live music, and beautiful grounds. That's what over 15,000 people enjoyed at Buell Day, which was chock full of activity. Of course, the petting zoo, the children's bouncy games. Uh, just, just a, there's something for everybody. The synchronized Buell mermaids made a splash. They've been a crowd favorite for over 35 years. And though they make it look effortless, it's anything but. Well, it takes a lot of work. It's hard when, especially in the summertime, with schedules and other activities going on. But we just get in the water and we swim. We learn with the basic strokes and from them. We continue into what you see today. But they say it's rewarding. And they had a float and the girls were on it. The ones that were sitting beside me, I was announcing, you know, come see them. And one of the girls says it's the entertainment. They felt that they were giving someone entertainment and making them happy. Buell Day doesn't come cheap. It's only possible with the community's help. Um, this weekend cost about $26,000. And so through private donations from individuals, uh, local businesses, that's how we fund the day. But everyone is happy to chip in. I grew up in Buell Park. It was my private playground. Um, so fortunate to have it. And I am a product of our community. So my goal is to give back to the community that made me the person I am today. In Hermitage, Cameron O'Brien, WKBN 27 First News.